Today we are highlighting another great show in the Aura family. It's America Cooks with Chefs. In each episode, an everyday home cook is paired with a James Beard award-winning chef to create a meal that is delicious and nutritious. Now, our crew traveled the country, Chicago, Miami, L.A., other cities, to capture these once-in-a-lifetime cooking classes with some of the nation's best chefs. America Cooks with Chefs is a first-of-its-kind partnership with both the James Beard and Clinton Foundations. With us in studio are a few of the show's stars. Mary Sue Milliken is the award-winning co-chef and owner of the Border Grill Restaurants, cookbook author, and an authority on authentic Mexican cuisine, although she does not look or act Mexican. <laughs> also with us is Vanita Lark-Williams, Mary Sue's partner in culinary crime, for the L.A. episode of America Cooks with Chefs. Why did you become part of this show? Well, you know, I'm very interested in healthy, nutritious food. It's, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's super easy to make food taste good with tons of salt and fat and sugar. But, you know, that's not helping us feel better. It's not fueling our bodies. So I've been working on healthier, more delicious food that, you know, people aren't going to miss their, their old crutches. So how does the show work? Well, I was paired with Vanita and um, six other chefs around the country, Tony Montuano from Chicago, Michelle Bernstein from Miami. Um, we each got our own partner to kind of work with them and help them, whatever their obstacle was. If one guy didn't like salt or couldn't eat salt because he had high blood pressure, Vanita was really stuck in a rut with the same old boring How did you food. pick Vanita? Who picked Vanita? I was chosen by an... Uh, on, um, interview and a little audition tape and next thing you know I got a call and then yeah. I was paired with her. Do you cook for a restaurant? Do you... No, I cook for myself and cook for my family. I love to cook. So they paired you two together? Yes, it was a great pair too. Let's show a clip from your episode. Let's watch. I'm Benita Lark Williams and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I think I'm a very good cook, but there's still some things I'd like to just tweak. I get into a rut every time I go right into the chicken breast, chicken thigh, ooh, we got chicken wing, but no, it's still all the same as chicken. I'm Mary Sue Milliken, one of the chefs and owners of Border Grill. You don't have to give up flavor or, you know, variety to keep your weight at a good level. For me, it really just comes down to more fruits and vegetables and cutting out processed food. The thing I wanted to teach to you today was our chili relleno. We're gonna stuff these peppers with a mixture of butternut squash, little onion. I really like cheese a lot and I had to give that up as well. And it's just not fun for me. Well, you know, I think in moderation, everything is fine. It's just used as a flavor. I really wanna know if this is gonna do it for you. Wow, what a great idea. Excellent idea. Did you enjoy this? Absolutely. We're talking about someone who loves Mexican food, so after losing weight, I said, I'm just not going to eat Mexican food anymore. And she changed my mind. Well, it's a common misperception that Mexican food is fattening, and it drives me crazy because it doesn't have to be. Is generally that true, though? Is Mexican food generally high calorie, high it, carbs? Well, Americanized Mexican food, yes. But when you go to Mexico, the produce markets are stuffed full of vegetables and fruits. It's the most plant-based cuisine on the planet. Really? Yes, and you know, meat came to, to Mexico late in the game. Had you cooked Mexican food before? Yes, the normal tacos, enchiladas, and all that. And I try to make it vegetarian, but still I added a lot of cheese. So this was great to add all the fresh fruits and vegetables. Is Mexican your claim to fame? I, yes. We have the Border Grills in, in L.A. and Santa Monica and Las Vegas, and I've been cooking Mexican food since 1985 when I took my first trip to Mexico. All right, what is this? this that is, is the colorful chili, chili relleno. It has butternut squash. It has some of the uh, poblano in it as well. It has um, the yogurt. Uh, yeah, we use yogurt instead of cream. We use lots of um, fresh fruits and or fresh vegetables, basically. I see that. And, and you know, the more colorful your diet, the probably healthier mm. you're eating. That is delicious. Thank you. Sixty-nine percent of American adults are overweight. Isn't and that? It gets worse, right? Why? 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 You know, we we just made bad it. food tastes good. 
Exactly. Bad food is addictive and it tastes great and it's we've made it far too easy to eat tons and tons of processed food, sugars, fats, salts. So what's some good tips you'd give to people watching? Well, what I like to do, and I took Vanita to my house because I, I really didn't want to be in the restaurant setting. I wanted to show people at home what they too. can do. So I buy lots of fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market every Sunday morning. Then I have all Sunday to process things, and I make it just so easy to grab, you know, carrot and celery sticks as it is to grab a bag of potato chips. You know, um, because if you if it's easy, if your greens are all washed and you only have 20 minutes to get food on the table, I mean, I'm a mom. I, I'm a busy career woman. I know how hard it is. So Has this changed you? Yes, it has. I go to the farmer's market now. I also uh, prepare my vegetables early. I also have them in the, the paper towels like I saw at your house. And I keep them ahead of time and I plan ahead for the whole week. What does your husband think? He loves it because he gets three meals a day. And I'm not, at, I'm not home all the time, so it's great. So I plan ahead and it's great. You have how many restaurants? I have five now. Wow. Isn't We've been great? at it a long time. I've All been, in L.A.? We opened our first one in 1981, and uh, three are in L.A., one at the airport at the new Tom Bradley Terminal and oh, that's Santa great Monica and downtown. So on your next international flight, you can grab a... A delicious, healthy Mexican meal. Is it all Mexican? They are. They're all called Border Grill. And then two in Las Vegas. Do you hop around to all of them? Yeah, I'm always on the move. If she's not playing soccer. So you can't be married. <laughs> I am yes. married and I have two kids. Was your husband in the food business? He's an architect. He designed our restaurants. Oh, <laughs> so. okay. you keep it at home. <laughs> we do keep well, it at home. Well, this is a great show, America Cooks with Chefs. Are you going to expand? Are they, this show going to expand? Well, I hope we have, yeah, next I would season, hope so. next really year, trying. a new season. And, you know, working with the Clinton Health Initiative Foundation. Oh, I know Foundation, very well. Yeah. We, I've been to both of their conferences the last two years, and this last one was so inspirational. And then also being um, on the board of the James Beard Foundation. I knew James Beard. Did you? I met him a couple times, too. I interviewed him a few times. Wasn't he great? He's a great man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to my guests, Chef Mary Sue Milliken and Vanita Lark Williams. You can check out the full season of the show and get all the recipes on our website. Go to aura.tv slash America Cooks. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at King's Things, and I'll see you next time.